I'm making potaje de garbanzo for dinner tonight. Let's make it together. So in here, I've just had one bag of El Sembrador chickpeas, garbanzo soaking all day. And then over here, I just have one small yellow onion. I have three garlic cloves here, half of a green bell pepper, one large chorizo. If it's on the smaller side, I would use two. And then here I just have one piece of tocino, smoked pork belly. If you don't have this, you could use bacon. If you don't have this, you can use ham. Just use some kind of smoked meat to add some flavor. I'm also going to be washing, peeling, and cutting three gold potatoes. You can also use red potatoes. Use whatever you have. I'm going to be pressure cooking it in my Ninja Foodie pressure cooker, but the sofrito I'm just gonna make here. I could sear and saute the sofrito in the Ninja, but I just feel like doing it here today. I'm going to be adding some rendered pork fat, manteca de puerco, but if you don't have this, you can use leftover bacon grease, or you can just use some extra virgin olive oil. Turn your heat up to like medium high. I'm gonna add in everything that I cut up, the chorizo, the tocino, the green bell pepper, the onion, and the garlic. And you're just gonna cook this until your onions and peppers soften up a bit, until the chorizo and the, to and the tocino release like their oils. There. And then over here, I already drained and rinsed my chickpeas, and they're just waiting for this deliciousness to go in there. Now to this, I'm gonna add some cooking wine, vino seco. I'm also going to add some tomato sauce. If you have tomato paste, go ahead and use that. I'm going to season it with some cumin. Some sazón completa, complete seasoning. I'm going to add some oregano, very important. I'm also going to add in one of these sazón goya packets. This is the one sing a childe. And then you can also use like a meat like a beef bouillon packet or you could use a chicken bouillon packet which is what i normally use but i found these ham ones so i thought that would pair really nicely with the garbanzos so i'm adding this in both packets keep in mind both of these are salty so go easy on the sazon completa and then this is gonna go into our pot with our garbanzos I love this kitchen setup. I can put you guys on the other side while I cook. Love the angle. This is going straight in here. Deliciousness. I'm not going to add the potatoes yet because the potatoes cook a lot faster than the chickpeas. The garbanzos are super hard if you've ever made them before. Um, so I'm going to cook them first. I'm just going to give this a mix and then I'm going to add water and a bay leaf and we are going to pressure cook this for about 35 minutes add my bay leaf before i forget i always forget the bay oh i'm forgetting one more thing too some sugar i do one two pinches as far as water i just eyeball it there's four cups in here i'm gonna tell you about how much i'm gonna add remember we're also adding in the potatoes later and that could affect like how salty it is because the potatoes will suck up the salt. So at the end, you do have to give it one more like sodium check. I think I'm gonna add just like a tiny bit more since we are also going to cook the potatoes after. Let me go do that. Like about one more cup. It's going in. That's good. And if it comes out too runny for any reason, just cook it. You can do like a cornstarch and water equal parts slurry. You bring it to a boil and it'll thicken up. It's my little trick. Just to explain that a little bit better, anytime you're making beans, if it goes, uh, you go overboard with the water and it comes out a little too runny, don't panic. You take equal parts cornstarch and water, you make a slurry, you add it in, you bring your beans to a boil, and then you cook it for a couple minutes and that will thicken it up. Let me start by plugging in the pot, that would help going to pressure cook these on high for 35 minutes keep in mind that we are also going to give it like an extra two minutes on high to cook the potatoes it's just stop so i'm going to release the pressure Let's see how this turned out oh these are perfect i'm going to go ahead and add my 
potato in and I'm gonna cook them for like two minutes on high pressure. That's it. That's a lot of potato. You could also just boil this, like cook it until the potato cooks down, but it's so much faster just to pressure cook it. So, and that's what I'm gonna do. And by the way, that was the perfect amount of water. Pressure, high pressure, two minutes, go, BRB. It just hit me that I had every intention of adding calabaza to it, and I completely forgot. So if you have calabaza, 10 out of 10, recommend to add it in here too. This is done, go ahead and taste it. Make sure that the salt level is good. My potatoes are super soft, more than fork tender. I'm gonna go ahead and serve it over some white rice. Beauty. Let's get some chorizo in there. Qué cosa más rica. And there you go. Let's taste it. Cheers. Bomb. I have to say, I do like it more with the chicken bouillon packet more than the ham one. I feel like the sodium was a little bit off. I had to add more salt. And usually when I make it, I don't add salt. I just add the Goya packet, the chicken bouillon, and the sazon completa, and that's enough. I did have to add some salt. But try it out and let me know what you think.